this is a quick, very last minute prediction for James DeGale versus Lucian Butte. The fight is about to start very shortly, I think, in the next half an hour or something like that. Maybe the next hour, I don't know. But I might have done a prediction for this fight before. I really can't remember. I do so many videos. <laughs> I've lost track. But this will serve as a recap or whatever if I have already done a prediction. I think this fight is going to go 12 rounds. And I'm taking James DeGale to win on points. Unless there's some hometown cooking and uh, Lucia Butte ends up getting an undeserved victory. The reason why I'm taking DeGale to win on points and not by knockout is because Lucia Butte has only ever been knocked out once and that was by Carl Frotch. And in that Frotch fight, Butte stood right in front of Frotch. He didn't really respect Frotch's power the way that he should have respected it. And although I do think that the Frotch beating has taken something away from Lucian Butte mentally, and I do think it's dented his punch resistance as well. He never had amazing punch resistance to begin with, but I have noticed that he is a lot more jittery about getting hit post Carl Frotch than he was pre Carl Frotch. But we also all remember the uh, Andrade fight where he was out on his feet. So I don't think he's going to stand in front of the Gale. De Gale don't hit like Froch anyway. De Gale's got decent power. He showed that over his past few fights. He does have decent punching power. But I don't think he hits as hard as Carl Froch. And I don't think he's relentless. He's as relentless as Carl Froch. He's not as good, as fit, good a finisher as Froch is. So even if he does manage to drop or stun Lucian Butte, I don't think he'll be able to get the job done and finish it. I could be wrong, obviously. But that's just what I see in my head. I don't think he'll be able to finish him off. I think Butte will peck and poke and stay out of the way and he will manage to go 12 rounds and Butte actually pulling the upset and winning on points it wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility to me but as I say I think if Butte does get a decision it will be an undeserved decision we'll see so that's what I'm going for people I'm going for James DeGale to win this fight on a 12 round decision and it has to also be said and I've mentioned this in previous videos about the Gale. The Gale's weakness is overconfidence. That's what bit him in the butt against George Groves. That's the kind of personality that James the Gale is. He's similar to a Lennox Lewis type personality. He's a, you know, let's be real. He's a slightly arrogant guy who does look down his nose at other fighters. And I'm not, that's obviously a good thing to a certain degree as a fighter to have that type of supreme self-belief that he has but at the same time if he don't keep it in check he can come unstuck again as we saw in the George Groves fight is there the potential for that to happen here against Butte? we'll find out very very shortly because you know DeGale as usual has looked extremely confident and he's saying this fight is going to be uh, you know, it's not going to be a boxing match. He's just going to go in there, seek and destroy. And he's going to be, he's going to have like a, a Marvin Hagler type mentality. Hmm. All right. Well, if Butte makes it awkward for him, I hope he can <laughs> mentally switch gears and go into plan B. Because Butte might be catching him on the way in if he's too aggressive. It might be interesting, but that's me anyway, people. I'm taking the girl to win a 12 round decision. Drop your comments below. What are your last minute picks, predictions for this fight? Let me know. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.